guys and welcome back to another video so as you can see today we are in cape town and i thought because cape town has a different car scene too but we usually see in pe let's try and see what they got Look at the first spot we found a wide body r35 and before we go to the front look at the wing as if we needed more downforce on the gtr with the rain light over there and then let's go to the front end the front end is, is probably the craziest part of it i mean look at that and then with the cutaway on the body look at the side of the front wheels uh, the back is 315s, but I mean, the front is 285. And then look at this. The wheels are big enough, but even with the size of the wheels, the brake caliper is sticking out. Now that's crazy. Yeah, what a nice way to start off our spotting vlog. Um, and over here, we've got a Bentley. I won't even lie or pretend I know nothing about Bentleys. But yeah, look at the size of the rims. Looks like what's 22 inch. Um, and for me, I always love the detail in the Bentley lights. But yeah, I won't bore you guys further with the Bentley. So let's see what else we can find. So over here, the next car on our spotting journey is a beautifully specced uh, Turbo S. And for me, I always love these rims on the Turbo S. Uh, don't ask me about Porsche numbers because I don't know. Uh, there's a 9, 992 and a 991. Not too sure what this is, but I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments. But yeah, I've always loved this rear arch on a Porsche. Okay, so one of my next favorite spots to come to is this dealership right around here. Let's see what they've got. So it seems their parking area is quite stocked up and I also think they are busy moving some cars. So let's start on the side. So for those of you that like a bit of, of luxury, we've got a Cullinan in quite an interesting color. Not really something you'd see on a Rolls Royce often, but yeah, that's quite cool. Um, and then over here, we've got an AMG SRS and they're busy pulling in a McCann. Oh, just listen to the rumble on that thing. And then over here, one of my personal favorite cars is a beautiful 720. And look at the color on the 720. Now it's dope. You can't not love the angles on the 720. I mean, look at that for aerodynamics. And then on top, you've got your carbon accents. Just beautiful. But yeah, let's keep the door going. Um, over here, we're going to got a Porsche. I mean, <laughs> look at this. Who doesn't like a Porsche? So this is the second Turbo S for the day. Um, and then over here, if I'm not mistaken, this might be the Lotus Emira that we saw last time. But yeah, and then here we've got a few Aston Martins. I won't even pretend that I know what's happening with Aston Martins. Looks like a DBS. Over there we've got a DB9. I'm honestly just reading and then this this dbs is absolutely beautiful i always said i love this front end you know all the other aston martins look the same but this one in the front and now with the light shining on you can see all the flake yeah absolutely beautiful and then over here we have a 570s honestly for me i feel one of the best supercars as an entry-level car that you can get for your money i mean i would take this over a r8 any day and once again 
just the angles are crazy and then over here we've got a 650s another beautiful color and obviously got some carbon details uh, we've got some carbon over there but yeah absolutely beautiful and then the last bit of carbon over on the wing so yeah all in all the starting of the car spotting not too bad i'll take it always a really cool spot to stop in at to see some mclarens because mclarens are one of my favorite cars but i'm gonna go down the front i saw another few cars over there in front there's a few more cars over there you can see we've got a 675 which was also last time we were in cape town 